Well, here's a good one. Crazy Stories and Confessions of an Uber Lyft Driver, episode 19, I think. Yeah, 19. So this is the guy that threw up in my car, almost, but not really. Here's what I mean by that. First, all the money I make from this gig goes right into my affordable housing project. I don't take a red cent from it, and I don't have a job. TomBirkenmeyer.com. I go into how I afford my bills and stuff like that over there. So just like it's spelled here on social media, TomBirkenmeyer.com. So I was in Milwaukee, and I pick up these three guys that get in the back of my car here. The guy in the middle is the guy that hurled, except he didn't get any in my car. So I'm driving along, and the other two guys are like, hey, can you pull over? Uh, my, my friends, I don't remember what they said, something along the lines of, can you pull over? I'm like, well, uh, I'm not in a place where I can right now, but as soon as I can, I will. I look in my rear view mirror, and the guy is just hurling into his sweatshirt, and I didn't realize he was capturing it all in his sweatshirt at the time. So I, I'm not freaking out, but I'm on the verge of it. But I'm like, oh my God, okay, I'll get, as, as soon as I can, I'll pull over. About 15, 20 seconds later, I was to a safe spot where I could pull over. And right away, they get out, but he sort of scooches out, very careful not to get any in my car. His two friends are helping him scooch out, catches it all in a sweatshirt, and then when he gets out, just lets it all down, all over the sidewalk. It was so gross and disgusting. There was no smell on my car whatsoever, and I have a hypersensitivity to the smell of puke, and there wasn't any. And uh, he got none in my car. I turned my dome lights on, I inspected it, and there was none anywhere. He captured it all and with the help of his friends. Really great, so I'm extremely grateful about that. I gave them a five-star rating. If they threw up in my car, if they got any in my car, it would have been one, and I definitely would have filled out the incident report with Uber or Lyft, depending on which one I was on at the time. And they would have charged his credit card to pick up the mess um, to have my car detailed, a minimum $200. I also would have gone after him for, you know, an average day's uh, commissions lost. So on top of that, I would have gone after them for that as well. But anyway, they were really cool guys about it. They ended up getting none in my car, not even the smell. I gave them five stars. And that's the closest I've ever come to having somebody throw up in my car. Well, I, actually, technically, he did throw up in my car. But it's the closest I'm coming to having throw up in my car. You know what I mean? And that's a big deal. Big worthwhile nuance to point out. Mm. So I don't do bar time for that reason. I don't want to ever have to deal with somebody throwing up. I think I've done somewhere between 7,000 and 8,000 rides by now between Lyft and Uber. And I've never once had somebody throw up in my car. I had another passenger, a lady, 2 o'clock in the afternoon in Milwaukee. Uh, she threw up outside of my car, but not, that was a funny story. I've got that journaled as well. But if you want to see more of these stories, I've got some doozies out there, man. TomBirkenmeyer.com. I've got everything linked from there. Not just my Uber and Lyft stuff, but also um, blog entries for natural health and natural healing and money and financial freedom and firing your boss and the philosophies that drive people to do certain things. TomBirkenmeyer.com, just the way it's spelled on social media. Check it out and drop your comments below. Tell me what you would do if somebody started throwing up in your car or if they were throwing up and they, but they were catching it all in their sweatshirt. What would you do? What would your reaction be? Would you have done something different than me? I'd like to hear about it. Drop your comment and feel free to share this if you want, just because it's an interesting story for people to read or listen to, I suppose. Bye for now. Mwah.